that is nothing more dangerous than to build a society with a large segment of people in that society who feel that they have no stake in it, who feel that they have nothing to lose. People who have stake in that society protect that society, but when they don't have it, they unconsciously want to destroy it. still ask me how it all started and how things went so far. And like a lot of questions about the Panthers, they're different answers, different beginnings. What became the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense really started with two guys, Bobby Seale and Huey Newton, saying two words, defend yourselves. The story has it that they hooked up at some coffee house where Bobby was running down the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to see. Right on your black and white TV. Black man, blue cop, red blood. Brothers watching other brothers die. Oh, my. That's the American way. Hey, what you doing? Oh, he's gonna die, black boy. The police threw them both in jail. You know, the man is convincing him. His foot is an integral part of our hands. Yeah, but fuck that. Dig it, fuck that. And there they started talking about black folks ought to start standing up for themselves. No master plan, no pot to piss in. Nothing like that. Just two fed up brothers. Next thing you know, bam. You got the Black Panther Party for self-defense. One of the first members to join was little Bobby Hutton. And that got the ball rolling. But for me, it started differently. What you looking? What you looking at is almost 30 years old, but this hat is brand new. <laughs> Get yourself on the school, boy. Yes, ma'am. I should tell your mama on you. Little cutie pie. Hey, Luther, man, he was messing around with that old white hat. That's why Luther ain't with us today, so I'm gonna pour some out for Luther. Fuck Luther, man. He owe me $30. Man, you ain't gonna get that money now from Luther. I see his mother, I'm gonna give him money. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it from her either. She ain't got no money. I'll take a watch. Shake it up. Don't worry, man. Look at it, man. I got the perfect gift for that sophisticated lady in your life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people play with some solid gold set of fashion. That bag now, I'll give you a second one half price for your wife. Come on. Look at this. Oh, man. Why are you still trying to sell it? Hey, hey, I don't know. 
know him. Josh Bass, Bass know him. Play the last night. Man, you, you, you done messed up. Man, get your one-eyed ass out of here. You just shut up, you tall midget, and pay me my money on me with this fake lighter. Tiny, you get the stool, all right? I might be a tall midget, but you mad because you can only see half the light. Yeah, I'm half a minute off your ass, too. All right, Tiny. Get the school on time. Mm -hmm. Fine young man. Like I said, for me, it started a lot differently. Yeah, I guess you could say for me, the Black Panther Party started in my mom's front yard. Oh, man, he ain't in the game. Now tell me, don't you find black men got anything better than play games? Sure I do, but your sister ain't home. Give me the damn ball, man. Yeah, take it. I thought some righteous brothers like yourselves might be able to help us out, but I guess that ain't you. Help who with what? It's your community. That's who. Now, maybe you ain't know, but another kid died today. Come on, now, look, y'all, that's three this year. In the same spot? Damn straight. No Reverend Slocum, he's having another vigil to put a stoplight in that corner. What I'm asking, y'all, is for some of you able black asses to calm down and be observers on them cops. Take down some badge numbers. They don't like pulling a whole lot of shit, too many eyes on them. That's how y'all can help. Not by praying, but by watching. You think the police care anything about a bunch of black people praying? Now, the community's been trying to get this stoplight put in since before my mother was a virgin. That's been a long time. Now, you think City Hall really cares about a bunch of black people having another prayer vigil at some goddamn church? Not around they ain't gonna have it in church. Anyway. They're gonna march to the intersection. It's gonna be on, a man. peaceful it's protest. Hey, my mom is at that. Yeah. The game, and I ain't fucking with no cops. They don't like us getting involved with none of that political shit. Look, right. some of us feel we shouldn't even interact with the white man. I mean, we are African, brother. That's right. That's Mother right. Africa's the only yeah. salvation. You look, you phony-ass, bougie nigga. We ain't in Africa. We in Oakland. And in Oakland, we got police brutality. We got the white man interacting, his billy club upside the black man's head. Right. That shit don't bother you. Why don't you take your skirt-wearing ass back to Africa, Uncle? What? Oh, come, come on, on man. Come on. We don't need no. We don't want to go. Go ahead. We don't want to go. Go on. What about you? What about you two? You were both there. You saw that kid. Yeah, I saw it, but uh. But what, man? You do live here, don't you? Yeah, I do live here. Then why don't you act like it, man? Come on. Just take a second, I promise. My mom is here. You young niggas crazy. The man ain't gonna let y'all have no say so in shit. He gonna come down on y'all like a ton of bricks, just like this one right here, baby. Uh! Listen. Don't let the cops provoke you, but just here to take down some badge numbers. Who's we, man? Hey, man, come on, brother. Where you been? Should sure, we the Black Panther Party for some defense? Panther? What, y'all some kind of gang or something? How old is you, boy? And we ain't no gang, so we revolutionaries, man. Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah, 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 he's only 16. We made him get his mom's permission before he could join. 16? He's just a kid, man. Well, oh, yeah, well, cops man. kick the shit out of kids, too. The black community was a family. A strong force to be reckoned with. The ghetto was never heaven. We had our crooks and drunks and the establishment exploiting us. As long as we suffered in silence, the authorities left us alone. But that silent suffering shit was about to change. Hey, man, I thought you said all the Panthers were gonna be hey, here. what you see is what you get. That's Bobby Seal. And that, that's you. Well, shit, ain't too many you motherfuckers out there. Hey, man, it only takes a single grain of sand to move the world. What the Sam hell is this? Vigil for some picking and he got hit here. Start taking damn badge numbers, y'all. Vigil my ass. Now, listen up. You've got 30 seconds to disperse and return to your home. Failure to do so will result in your immediate arrest.
We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree. That's planted by the wall. You are resisting the rest. We shall not be This observer stuff ain't working. I mean, the cops, they cover the badges, and even if we do report it, don't nothing happen? I know we need to stay disciplined, right. but I ain't joined this motherfucker just to get my ass kicked. We must turn the other cheek, brothers. Uh, remember, remember, the meat shall inherit the earth. Wait, wait, hold, hold, look, look, what we need to do is pray for their forgiveness. <laughs> They know not what they do. Hey, no, no offense, Reverend, but they've been practicing on us for 400 years. I think they know exactly what they're doing. Amen to that. Brother Malcolm said we need to stop singing and start swinging. <laughs> hey, y'all can run and rave, but it's the police who got the gun, man. Shit. If black folks had guns, we'd probably shoot each other with it. <laughs> Lord, why don't they show us no respect? Because they don't have to. They think they can brutalize us and lock us up without a jury of our peers because we're ignorant to the laws. What we need to do is organize, keep our shit correct, and exercise our constitutional right as citizens to defend ourselves and arm ourselves. Then, if they try to brutalize us or, or, or violate our rights, man, we got a right and means to defend ourselves. What the hell are the boys saying? Yeah. The man said we can carry guns. It's legal. That's right. What? So, what, y'all gonna get guns and shoot cops? I mean... No, it ain't about shooting cops. It's about getting a man's attention and showing our community that we ain't got to take this shit no more. Hey, you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. The establishment, about. it don't listen yeah. when we sing, play, or beg. But believe me, they see some disciplined brothers with guns. They're gonna pay attention fast. They're gonna know that the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense is serious about defending the rights of our people. Dig it. All power. To the people. All power to the people. <laughs> All power to the people. <laughs> Free at last, my brothers and sisters. God had delivered us from the lion's den. Reverend, we black where we started. And we still ain't got us a stoplight. As the good reverend says, God helps those that help themselves. We'll be our own stoplight. Y'all need a hot meal, a hot bath, my check is. How's my mom? Oh. Learn from observation and participation. Yes. <laughs> hey. That's beautiful, man. They've been their own stoplight. So what is that going to do, man? Come on, Jess, man. We got to start somewhere. Show you right. And I'm going to start by getting on my feet, working on things from inside the system. Shit, that's why I volunteered for Nam to get to GI. That's yeah. bullshit. You volunteered to beat that joyriding rap. Man, that's how they in the system. It's right there inside of you. You know what? I'm joining, man. What? I'm going I'm to join the Black Panther Party. Sorry, man. You don't need to. You be careful then, bro. I say this morning that it is my... Oh, my God. Mom, when did they let you out? A couple of hours ago. You okay? Hey, I'm all right. How about you? 
God, you don't look all right. Look at this. Whipping up on that cop like you was crazy. Hey, that cop was trying to hit my mama. I can't have that, you know. Come here. Oh, what would your daddy say? <laughs> Both of us locked up in prison. <laughs> like, like two jailbirds. <laughs> I don't know. Those your roughneck friends you met in jail over there? See what I mean? Mom, it's not like you think. Those fellas, they all right. They was out there trying to do something. Well, those fellas, those Black Panthers, I hear they're communist. They don't even believe in God. Ma, black folks been praying to God for 400 years. Maybe it's time we try something else. You believe that? I don't know. I really don't. Now, I'll tell you one thing. Them boys keep on the way they're keeping on. It's going to be a lot of trouble around here. Those things don't work, believe me. Um, don't I know it? Come on in, Agent Rogers. Have a seat. Always a pleasure to see you. Oh, what can I do to be of help? Well, it seems the Bay Area has become a real hornet's nest for subversive activities. Mr. Hoover would just like to reiterate that the FBI is willing to help the authorities in any way they can. You know, strictly on a, an advisory basis, of course. Of course. I'm sorry. Well. I appreciate your help, but I think we have things pretty well under control. Just the usual bunch of kooks that you guys have had under surveillance. They're still making a lot of noise and smoking pot, but nothing to be worried about. And what can you tell me about the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense? <laughs> They're just a bunch of shines running around shaking their fists about some street light. I mean, they're loud, but they're not dangerous. Was it possible we could make some kind of a deal with them? Nah, they're, they're kids, mostly. Uh, idealists. They think, actually, they're for real. You want me to put a man on it? I think that'd be a good idea. Take care of that stomach. Oh, yeah, by the way, I would appreciate if that man of yours would keep a low profile. Hey, what's up? What's up? What y'all want? What y'all want? Turn on my red? Man, this shit would get you high as a motherfucking monk. Well, I was wondering, do you have any cocaine? Some cocaine? Man, I can get you some cocaine, but you can't do it here. Police too hot. Look here. Give me twenty dollars and meet me back here in an hour, and I have it. But look, I'm telling you, don't fuck around, white boy, because it's some serious yeah. shit. You meet me back here in an hour? Man, I said I'm gonna meet you here. Go get out of here, man. The police coming. Get out of here. Motherfucker. That's a stupid motherfucker. What the fuck you doing? Man, we can't have you pushing poison on the street. Man, I ain't doing that, man. Work better on some coops. Well, I just took his money. It's a hustle. I'm about to get paid, brother. Look, I understand what you're saying, but you got to understand what the Panthers are saying. You got to be part of the solution, not the problem. Yeah, right. Whatever, brother. That's all that's cool, but uh, let me get my money thing straight first, all right? Like Motherfucking Panthers, y'all worse than the police. Hey, baby, why don't you join the Black Panther Party? Mm -hmm. Or better yet, why don't you join me for this? Yeah, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that, look at that! Oh, oh brown no. sugar! No. Uh, no. 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 Oh, 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 girl, look you make me want to shot you with the gravy. Look what you make me do! Hurry. Oh, oh, man. What are you doing out here jiving around, looking at the young girl like that, huh? I'm just doing my job. Now, you know you're supposed to be directing traffic, huh? All right, I don't know, but give me the glove. Look at here, look at here, look at here! How you doing, Casper? What's up now? You lost or something? Oh, we hurt you. Oh, man. Oh, you police. He the fudge, man. Oh, you couldn't just be a big old white man. Nah. Do? Take us with you. Go. Come back. Take, take hey, us. Come on, man. 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 Come on, man.
Yeah, yeah so uh, she arrived next month. So if you brothers interested. Uh, interested? What kind of practice with brothers? Like a preach. Cool. Where's Bobby C? I don't know, but I'm looking at that fine sister over there. Hello, Bobby. Hey, man, you got to take this down. You're going to love it. No. Oh, Hold on, man. It's magic. We got a decision to make. What's okay. wrong? You know those brothers in San Fran, they call themselves Black Panthers, too. Yeah, what are, you mean them brothers don't do nothing, print up a lot of papers here, Black is Beautiful? He's one of them. And they're bringing in Sister Betty Shabazz next month to speak a rap and do an interview for Rampart, and they want us to help with security. Right. Yeah. If anybody's gonna protect Malcolm's legacy, it better be us. Sure, sure you right. Am I right? I don't sure. Know. All Let's right. go check it out. Yes, indeed. Mm, cook, me up, cook me up a burger. Hey, you get Greetings, African brothers from across the bay. We understand you would like to assist us with Sister Betty Shabazz's security. That's right. We'd be proud to provide escort for Sister Shabazz. How many men, how many guns you got? <laughs> Get the brothers some libation. Me too while you at it. Men? Brother Dewey? Huey. Uh, no, thank you, sister. Yeah, <clears throat> Louis. You know what I'm saying, brother. We as a revolutionary vanguard are serious with our shit. I assure you that Brother Lombard here and our other brothers will rise to the occasion in full effect. Just make sure you're on time. We'll be prepared. Right, Mama Lombard? Yuhur, Wambasa, Simba, freedom and work, lion. Amoja, brothers. Those Karangatang-looking armchair revolutionaries ain't fit for the main Panthers. Right now, we need to be ready to protect Betty Shabazz because them brothers sure as hell can't. They need some guns. We need some money first. All we got is two pistols, man. Now, where we gonna get the money to buy them guns and shit that you done told them we had? You're the chairman. I'm Minister of Defense. You figure it out. I already did, you see. That's what I was trying to tell you, brother. Come on, you ain't this bad. Here we go. Check it out. Bought every copy in Chinatown. Got a discount, too. 30 cent a piece. Bobby, quotations from Chairman Mao. Mao, brother, Mao. Man, these are books, man. That's right, that's right. Go and sell them for a dollar. Make 70 cents. And that's what you did with my money. Only a dollar. Get the load down right here. Only a dollar. You want to get it from me. Get the load down. If you're afraid of socialism, you're afraid of yourself. See, get the load down right there. Only a dollar. Come on, Mao, take home right here. Only a dollar. Only one dollar. Only one dollar. I know what you're thinking. Hey, uh, these guys right here want to join. Sorry, guys. Uh, the party feels it's important for black people to do it for themselves, so we're not signing up any white folks. But down for what we're doing, we appreciate it. You know, we're organizing like just white folks, so I got a feeling we're going to need each other. Get your red ones, be up to the struggle. Oh, thank you very much. Be up to the struggle, only a dollar, only a dollar. Be up to the struggle. Hey, boy, that's what they got you doing now? Hey, man, party needs the bread. Hey, be up to the struggle, only a dollar. Thank you very much. Thank you. A dollar? Is that authentic? This here, the real deal, straight from Revolution HQ. Far out. Thank you. Thank you. Long live the revolution, brother. All right, now. Now, the money's cool, but what the party need even more is brothers like you. I mean, hey, Judge, man, we need you, man. Look at all these, man. All these, look at all these words. Hell, I don't even know half of them. Yeah, well, don't worry. I tighten you up on the words, man. But I got a pass on the revolution right now. I got class, bro. Why don't we hit cloud nine later? Look, check this out. Won't you come on down to the office? Kind of raggedy, but come on. Let's... You really into this pants thing, aren't you? Hey, hey, far out, man. Say, you know what, man? You should come down here with you and Bobby got to say to that. Yeah, maybe. Hey, man, fuck maybe. Be there. Like I said, maybe. Maybe your brother got an afro on, maybe got a process. Maybe sister got her hair straight, and maybe it's natural. Maybe your brother got a dashiki on, and maybe he got a sharp pimp suit. You dig what I'm saying? Bro, maybe sister's prostituting herself, maybe she's teaching kids to read. Whatever. The pig will murder, brutalize, and kill you simply because you're black, no matter what kind of bag you're in. That's fact. Now, we, the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, we're not anarchists. The government's supposed to serve the people. In the black community, the government should serve black people. Black cops for black people, not the army they got occupying our community now. Army, you say, hold on, wait, brother, this ain't Vietnam. 
Well, the army's right outside your door, folks. They're the cops. They're the pigs. They're supposed <coughs> to protect and serve. They don't do nothing but patrol and control. Why do we call them pigs? Not just because that's what they are, but because it's legal. Now, you curse. You call a pig a dirty mother, whatever. It's illegal. He got an excuse to arrest you, so don't give him no excuse. Dang, dang. Now, in order to become a member of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, you must not only know the oppressor's laws, you have to know our laws. <laughs> for instance, mm -hmm. no getting high on Panther premises or while carrying out Panther duties. When I'm gonna get a gun? We don't have none yet. And no one gets one from us until they've gone through the proper training. And that includes knowing the 10-point program. That's right, brother. Since we gotta educate ourselves, know our own history. Man, I had history in school. Not that colonial slavery, boy, they want you to know. I'm talking about the real history. From Ma to Fanon That's and right. X. Mm. And if you got trouble yeah. reading, we will help you. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Man, I'm out of here. You niggas, crazy. Come on back on, bro. Got no guns. All those uh, interested in joining the Black Panthers, uh, just sign this sheet of paper right here. Clean here you this go, brother. shit sign up. Them white boys gonna kick all y'all out. Come on, you, you, know, you, you, you need to sheet. cut some of that hassle on your head to fit in them motherfucking hey, coffins. Because that's why all y'all Black keep Panthers it. You don't keep it. You Don't worry about this. Hey, brother, you want to sign the sheet here? I know you coming back. Are you coming back, ain't you? All right, now. What you got there? Let me see this one. That's the one. What do you think? Why do you think that is? What is? Every time a black man goes to lift his head, there's another black man right there to call him crazy. You saw his Vietnam buddy, right? Yeah. But I guess it's safe to say you know something about firepower. It's a busted firing pin. You want only the legal stuff, right, bro? Yeah, just the legit stuff. Nothing wrong with that pistol. Serial number's been filed, man. A cop catches you with this, he has an excuse to say you either stole it or you off somebody with it. I don't want no trouble. No cops coming to me about these guns. No trouble here. You got a permit to say we got cash, all perfectly legal. These are worth a lot more. I thought you were a revolutionary, man. Look, we can't afford them unless you cut us some slack. But you treat us right, we'd be doing a whole lot of business. All right? The ghetto being the ghetto, the Panthers had two big obstacles to overcome. Ignorance and inertia. The big eyes, as they call them. Gene, I hope you see what you're doing. Oh, look at you fool with that, that half a bra on your face. <laughs> Looking like a fucking <laughs> pirate. <laughs> See your brother getting busted, we check it out, make sure the pigs don't go beating on him. He's taken downtown, we try to hook him up with a lawyer, bail. So what? It's like, we're policing the police. Damn straight. The pigs don't like it, it messes up their cut of the drug trade. Dig it. What are you doing with that gun? Well, what are you doing with yours? Let me see that rifle, son. 
arms. No. This is my private property. According to California law, we got a constitutional right to bear arms. What? Oh, that's true. Okay. 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 Move along. Move along. Move along. about your business. Wait, 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 wait. Brothers, sisters, no. You ain't got to go nowhere. This is your business. Stay right here. The law says as long as you stand a reasonable distance, that's eight to ten feet to be exact, you've got a right to observe the police carrying out their duties. From what I can see, you're standing 22 feet away from this man. So, brothers, ain't no law being broken. That's right. You stay right where you are. You ain't got to go nowhere. Tip her for there. Tip her for there. Learn about the black man. Is that gun loaded, boy? Fish and game law clearly states it's unlawful to carry a live round of ammunition in the chamber of a shotgun or rifle in a vehicle. Pig. Refer to him as officer. Then don't you refer to him as boy. Well, is it loaded? I tell you, officer, it wasn't, but now it is. Who is a badass nigga? Now, for the last time, boy, what do those guns mean? They mean pig? That the Black Panther Party declares you try to brutalize our community, you try to take our weapons. We'll shoot you, man. Oh, oh. 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 Back. Determine the destiny of our black community. Two, we want full employment for our people. Three, we want an end for the robbery by capitalists of our black community. Christ, they're asking for reparations. They couldn't have thought this up for themselves. Yeah, sound like the Constitution to me. Maybe a little of the Bill of Rights thrown in. Inspector Brimmer, this is no joke. During your surveillance, did you see any communists or outside agitators? Well, I saw colored people handing out bags of food and uh, having meetings and painting and patrolling the neighborhood and having more meetings. They're undermining the United States of America. And you, Inspector, are not taking your job seriously. Now, oh, come on, Rogers. Now, Dawson, if the Black Panthers are going to remain in your jurisdiction, some fundamental changes are going to have to be made here. Like what? Like you, Inspector Brimmer, are not going to be sitting in your car anymore. I think it's time you took a little more active involvement. Had a busy day keeping the streets safe. What are you doing out so late? Yeah, I like to keep my eye on my clients' investments. You know, we really should address that expansion of their business, like we said. Look, I don't think that's this a is... nice car. It's nice. You remember a pay for it, right? Huh? We'll talk again. So. Oh. Hey, Lamsey sits down on Grove Street, all up on the cuff with that lost shit. Man, it was. It was all right, man. Say, bro, you give me a left, man? Got it. Berkeley campus? Uh. No. Let's go to Panther headquarters. That way we could hang out a little more like we used to. <laughs> my brother! Yeah, I gotta take care oh, of you. My brother. I gotta take care of you, kid. <laughs> Gonna be down now, huh? Am I down? Man, I'm down like folk flats on a dump truck. See, I'm Peter Hope. Uh, that's short for pimp, that hoe. And I saw you panthers down on Grove Street. I'm checking you out, man. And everybody know y'all got the finest pussy. So sign a nigga up. As long as I can keep my job and keep putting food on the table, I want to be a panther. Whitey drops napalm on the yellow man, slaughters and betrays the red man, enslaves and mutilates the black man, and fucks with anybody else he can. I got it. You got this in the control? All right. Thank you, my brother. We'll be in there. Judge is gonna join us. Wait, I 
to have you, my brother. Congratulations, my brother. This makes it official. Now come in clean, sober, and ready to work. Community is a focal point. I got that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you, brother. Ten point program. Hey, yeah. Huey wants to see you. Me? Yeah, you. He said he had a feeling that you'd be coming by. Hey, Eddie, look, control. We gotta get control of this one. Go outside the storefront, man. You know the speeds we get. In other national news, President Johnson's press secretary has emphatically denied the rumor that the White House is considering ordering the bombing of Cambodia by our strategic bomber. The Viet Cong have order attacks. Welcome. But the judge, have you decided to get down with us? <clears throat> hey, I'm Dan. Yeah, you a lot of help with those guns? Your soldier shit. Badass. Well, look, I'd hope to be done with all that now. Look at me back. Most brothers die on the front lines. It seems like that's what they're there for. You mind if I ask you a question? Where do you get the money to go to school? GI Bill. Plus, I got a little shrapnel in my leg. It's no problem anymore, but I still get my disability checks. We had a landmine. I thought a landmine was supposed to be fatal. It was for the two guys in front of me. Well, you volunteered or something? Reform school or something. The court said that or the military. If I stuck around here, I'd end up drunk or dead. Why all the questions, man? Security. Security for Sister Betty Shabazz has got to be tight. brothers and sisters to do in following Brother Malcolm's footsteps? Well, I would say that Malcolm lives in each of us and that we must all work together for the community like those brothers out there are doing. Well, Sister Shabazz, we wanted to thank you and we are definitely honored that you have chosen San Francisco for your first public appearance since the martyrdom of Malcolm. Sister, do you feel the fervor of the movement was lost with the death of Malcolm? No, the thirst for freedom was by no means extinguished with the murder of my husband. The desire for liberty is manifested daily. Hey, struggle. police is pulling up outside. Let's look around. All in. Let's go, little Bobby. For the love, boy. I'm not going to get caught. That's it. Brother Huey, no pictures, please. No, 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 yes, ma'am. No, no, no. Thank you. I'm not going. I'm not going. You go down there if you want to. Okay, just put the gun away. Yeah, I'm not going to jail. No, hey, get yeah. cool. That's it. There's you. Mr. Vaz, you fear for your life. Back up, back up. Back up. Who shot Malcolm? You think the FBI was involved? What's the plot? Back up. 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 Sir, please, the last time we back up. Move out of my way. I just want to ask a question. Mr. Boz, you know who killed your husband? You're out of line. Move, man. No, let's step back, stuff. Hey, this man assaulted me. Arrest this man. I'll find the rest anyone. It's going to be you. Oh, not today. Huey, come on, man. Please, lower the guns, man. We don't want no trouble. That's right. Put the guns away. You're a smart nigger like your friend. We ain't broken no law. You try to violate our constitutional rights, we will defend ourselves, pig. Aren't you going to do anything? Like you said, asshole, they're not breaking any laws. Oh. All right, step out! Right. All right, step back, folks, step back. Let me go ahead and call it in. Excuse me, what, what is Mr. Shabazz doing here? Uh, is this me, the Panthers are dedicated to Mel Come on. Uh, uh, Hey, bring up, 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 bring
It surprised me they even showed up with guns. <laughs> Damn. No. They ain't fit for the name Panther. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hey, what did he judge? I mean, nobody got hurt. I mean, Sister Betty's safe. Today was a good day, man. Cheer up. That tall punk Panther's gun wasn't loaded. I bet you the rest of them weren't either, man. Shit. All right, let's find out. Leader must have courage of Simba. Lion, hmm? This is only the beginning. Oh, refreshments, Brother Bakar? No, no. Brother, brother. Brother Bakar, you should have been there. The pigs laid down to us. We are finally getting the respect that we deserve, just like you prophesied. Sister Alma, more libation, please. Yes, brother. Like I said, brother, we are the vanguard. Once Cleaver's story comes out, then you'll see Hey, man, what the fuck are you doing? Hey! Malcolm X's widow's life was on the line today and your guns weren't loaded. A gun's a gun, man. It doesn't need to be loaded. Tell that to the pigs, or better yet, tell that to Brother Malcolm. You wait oh, a second. No, brother. you wait a second. Because you and your punk panthers are counter-revolutionary. You got three choices. One, you merge with us, you follow our rules. Two, you change your name. Or three, we annihilate your ass. You listen, pretty gentle boy. You a long way from Oakland. And you're not Malcolm. Fuck you! You're the kind of brother we don't need! You're the kind of brother that gets other brothers killed! You need to change your name! Bakar, tell him you'll do it! Tell him you'll do it! Oh, okay, but only for the revolution. Help me up. Move out! Move, Move out. out! You okay? Move out! See? This, this is kind of revolutionary. Like crabs in a barrel, pulling each other down. <laughs> Brother Jamal, where you going, man? Forget him. Brother Jamal! Forget him! <laughs> yeah! you do something for us, Judge. Staying alive might depend on it. The pigs are gonna try to infiltrate us. We're gonna let them. Their spy, they're gonna be our spy, too. Me? Huey, man, you got a whole bunch of people signing up here, and, and me niggas like Tyrone here. Why me? You fit the profile, brother. You're exactly the type of nigga they think they can trust. One, we want freedom. We want power to determine the destiny of our black community. Two, we want full employment for our people. Three, we want an end to the robbery by white men of our black community. Four, we want decent housing fit for shelter of human beings. Everybody talks about what needs to be done to uplift the race. You brothers are doing something about that. And I want to do it with you, if you'll have me. Alma. Uh. I don't think... What you mean? I'm black, ain't I? I care about improving the plight of my people just like you, don't I? Or you figure oppression stops at that thing dangling in between your legs. Check this out, man. Hey, I'm with you, sister, but... Uh... But nothing. We want full-fledged membership in the Black Panther Party. And none of that okay sugar, as long as you play the background getting my beer and rubbing my feet bullshit either. You dig? My beautiful black sisters, as long as you're down with the 10-point program, sign up. Like moms who say, the Lord may not come when you call him, but he's always right on time. the government's power in the hands of the people, which means you and I. 
That's exactly why we say all power to the people. All of us equally united. You know what I'm saying? All races, all colors. White power to white people. Red power to red people. Brown power to brown people. Yellow power to yellow people. Black power to black people. See, all power to the people. Y'all did it? Repeat after me. All power to the people. All power to the people. Why everybody thought they pissed up the sign? All power to the people. There you go, yeah, yeah, I like that. The black community was starting to see things at Panthers' way. Slowly, it was beginning to solidify behind us. Black was beautiful, man. Fast, classy, ass-kicking, and name-taking, too. Get them, they're going fast. All right, they're going fast. Yeah, you're judge, right? I'm Bremer. We need to talk off the record. I don't know you, and I got nothing to say to you on or off any record. Yeah, you do. We need to talk here, we can go downtown, make it easy on yourself. Come to think of it, didn't your mother assault a police officer at 55th and Market not long ago? Huh? Of course, uh, judge, this is all just conjecture. <laughs> Let's walk and talk, huh? Come on. I'll tell you what, judge, here's the deal. You help me out from time to time, and I'll make sure everything stays clean. You can be big help to your country. Now look, we've both fought for America. Korea, Nam, okay? We both know that America's got a lot of problems. <laughs> it's still a land of opportunity. Equal opportunity. I know what I'm talking about, Judge. My folks came over here immigrants. They were dirt poor, sharecroppers. They pulled themselves up by the bootstraps. You believe all that, don't you? Well, hell yes, I believe it. I wouldn't be a cop if I didn't. Soldier, without law and order, these streets would just be chaos, and you know it. <laughs> I'll look here, Judge. We, uh, we don't ask something for nothing. We know a college is very expensive these days. We'd like to help out. What do you say? I'm listening. Pardon? I'm listening. Uh, well, you do more than listen. You call me by Wednesday, all right? That number. Okay? okay. All right, a couple of bucks in it for you. All right. See you, Judge. Hey, brother, they tried to recruit me just like you said. Yeah, you're probably not the only one that they came after. Stall a little so they think it's real. Eat up, eat up your food. Get some nutrition. Get your nutrition. Tyrone, you think of feeding our children is going to make the man jump? Well, I don't know. Seems to me black folks is getting mighty up here feeding their kids breakfast, trying to take their destiny in their own hands. Makes me wonder what this world's coming to. Officer, don't, don't shoot! Freeze, don't don't shoot! Out, I Turn didn't do anything! Boy. Turn around now! I didn't do anything! Police lied, said he was trying to steal a car. That baby wouldn't steal no car. Mama? Mama, these brothers here from the Black Panther Party of Self Defense, I asked them over from Oakland. I thank y'all for coming to grief with us. Police won't tell us nothing. They've been shooting black men around here like we're going out of style. Oh, Lord have mercy. My boy didn't do nothing. <laughs> Can't somebody do something? Yes, ma'am. We came to do something. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice! All power to the people! All power to the people! All power to the people! The police say, Brother 
Dindle Dow was trying to steal a car. That he leaped a fence and ran through a field of broken glass and oil. But when we checked, the bottom of his shoes were clean. And if any of y'all knew Denzel, you knew he was in a car accident, that he walked with a limp so he couldn't hop any fence. The police report says quite clearly Denzel was shot three times. But the coroner's report says Denzel Dow was shot six times. Two of those shots were in his armpit, brothers and sisters. You know why that is? Brother Denzel had his hands up! What do we want? Justice! Look here, my brother, we need more programs in the car. Amen, amen, brothers and sisters. Let us bow our heads and pray. That's your phone call. You should have told me about this. Don't worry, I'm just playing rough cop. So your soul brothers won't know we're partners. What do we want? Justice! Come on, man. No, it's just harassment. We got momentum, brother. You're not coming in here with no gun. The firearm is being carried in plain view, therefore it's perfectly legal by California statute. This is public property, paid for by the people. Over my dead body. Well, that's your call, pig. We didn't come for bloodshed come for justice, but don't be pushing us too far. Boys, please. Look, if the police department has nothing to hide, then why didn't they allow the Denzel Dell family to observe the body? And if he bled to death, why is the coroner's report said he was shot to death? Now, we demand a grandeur investigation to the death of Denzel Dow and the pattern of brutality against the black citizens of Richmond. The police department has conducted its own inquest and concluded that no misconduct occurred. As far as a pattern of brutality, the charge is ridiculous. And what do you call four dead black men in six months? I call it the police doing their duty under the law. You got a problem with any law, you take it to the legislature. I think the pig might have a point. Get the hell out of my office! Look here, the law's changing. You ain't gonna be able to carry them guns much longer. We understand each other, Judge? Yeah. All right, then. Look, I expect to hear from you real soon. If you Newton takes a crap, I wanna know about it. Otherwise, I'm gonna come looking for you. I won't be near as friendly as I was today. Judge, you gotta remember something. You got a lot of stake here. Look, the Panthers are gonna lose. The only question is, are you gonna lose along with them? You're gonna lose your future, your mother, your life. Now think about it. All right, soldier, go on, get out of here, go on. Just when black people start to exercise their right to bear arms and defend, they said the pigs want to change the law. Yeah. We ain't gonna make it easy for them to have no unarmed targets, are we? Yeah. Can you dig that? Now, I want y'all to have a good time and enjoy yourselves, because this here is your community. It's our community. It's a beautiful thing. That's right. Just do me one favor and save me some of that barbecue out there. All right, listen to the band. Have a good time. Love you. Yeah, for the ten brothers that are going to come up later. Right on. Right on. Huey. 
Man, we got 29 Panthers going, including that reporter from uh, Ramparts, Cleaver. That's 30. Oh, this is gonna be a colossal event. We're gonna turn the capital out. Far out, baby. Far out. Hey, will you cool it, Bobby, man? What'd it be, brother? What'd it be is that you ain't going with us, Huey. But now we the leadership, you and me. It ain't enough of us as it is. That's just it. Huey the pigs don't know how many Panthers there are. If both of us show up, they might start putting two and two together and make five. We ain't even a hundred strong yet, but we got them guessing thousands. Okay. I'll go, you stay. You wouldn't took a boat. You too risky. It's decided. You stay. That's right, man. Now go on, mow your mama's lawn. <laughs> like you promised. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'll stay. You go. All right. Judge, you want a beer? Hey, Judge, where you been, man? I saw the pigs rousting you at the rally. You okay? Yeah, man. Uh, it was, uh, it was just harassment. My driver's license expired. Pigs, man, they be grabbing at anything. So what's the pig's name? Bremer. Oh, you gotta stay cool on this icy goddamn cool, brother, because you just became the strongest weapon we got. Let me guess. That pig wants you to call him and tell him what we're doing. Yep. All right, you're gonna do just that, but I'm gonna tell you what to feed the pig. You all right with this? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Hey, man, do any of the other brothers know about this? Shit's getting pretty thick here. Yeah, I got a feeling it's gonna get a whole lot thicker for all of us. Well, isn't that nice? Governor Reagan, that's exactly is your name. Brother, you're going to make a rough cut. Here, here let, me, uh, let me sign it. And are you Governor kids Reagan, all from the same area? Same school? This time? Governor, what about Governor, the Mulford Act? Right? I would tell you, you the same thing I say to all of you. Remember the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic. And uh, you can become oh, lawyers, wait, doctors. Wait, that's wait, what America is all about. Come on, go. Get me back, OK? Is this a militant action? Are the Panthers storming the Capitol? Absolutely not. We're here to send a message. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls upon the American people in general, and black people in particular, to take careful note of the racist California legislature now considering the mall for that. It's aimed to keep black people disarmed and powerless by a racist police agency throughout this country, intensified to terror, brutality, murder, and oppression of black people. Now, I got a question for you. Which way is the state assembly? Or it's right up there on the second floor. Sir. All right, good man. All power to the people. Yeah. Governor Ronald Reagan had this to say. The Black Panthers are a militant fringe group who are using fear and intimidation against the Oakland Police Department. Apparently, the Black Panther Party made a wrong turn and accidentally walked onto the assembly floor instead of the visitor's The Black gallery. Panther Party for self-defense, not anti-white. We anti-oppression. You can't fight racism with racism. The law the Panthers broke is disturbing the assembly. 26 Black Panthers have been arrested in Sacramento. We lost Bobby. Who had to serve six months for taking that wrong turn. 
And the Mulford Act eventually passed, so we lost the right to carry guns. But one thing we did get was worldwide attention. Yeah, disciplined niggas marching with guns. That got everybody's attention. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense claims to be the voice of the black community. However, analysis of our field report reveals a high level of organizational skills. Well, we've been down this road before, haven't we, gentlemen? Uh -huh. What we have here is a classic example of outside agitation. Black terrorists on the floor of a state capital, I won't have it. This is obviously an organization funded and masterminded by some communist power hostile to the United States. The only question is, which one? Before we crush these ungrateful coons, find out who their real boss is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gentlemen. Come on, we're going for a ride. Get in the back seat. Come on, hustle up. We ain't got all day. Come on. So why didn't you tell me about this party you boys was planning at the Capitol? Look, man, the shit was spontaneous. Spontaneous, my ass. You told a friend. You didn't tell me. You better remember who you're working for. Yeah, whatever, whatever you say, man. You sassing me? Well, you look a little piece of shit. In your black ass. Sass me, will you? Get out of the car. What? Get out of the fucking car. Whatever you say, Inspector Brimble. Fuck? You're fucking ain't right, whatever I say. I'm gonna make sure you wear your head screwed on straight here, son. All right, get up here. Get over here. Oh, oh, how fucking easy it'd be for you just to fucking disappear, huh? See ya? You know how I get away with it? Because all these drivers see is a white cop and a fuck black convict in handcuffs. You understand? Yeah, what do you want, man? What I want, I want you to get your ass out of neutral. I want you to set the Panthers on fucking plate for me. I want you to set them up for armed robbery. The Panthers yeah? don't rob nobody. They don't operate like that. Oh, fuck how they operate. You just do it, huh? Like you man says, for any means necessary. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Something for you two wishing? Get back in the fucking car. Keep it strong. What's happening, right, y'all? my brother. Yeah. Listen, man, where's Judge? I ain't seen him around lately. Man, between school, the job, and the Panther, uh -huh. they're running kind of raw. You dig? Mm. Yeah. Shit, I gotta take a leak. Yeah. What's happening, y'all? Hey, I know this fool ain't selling drugs in our neighborhood. What? Go on, man. You can use my pad. Let me handle this. Man, I've been kicking his ass since high school. Look, I'll see you at the meet, all right? All right. Hey, what do you got to sell? Every black man you lay your eyes on ain't a dope dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I done told you for the last time, all right? Stop pushing that fucking poison in the neighborhood. You poison your own people, fool. Man, fuck that black power shit. I'm down with green power and fuck you. No, no fuck you, all right? Let me tell you something. Don't make me come back here, all right? All right? Is that you? Yeah, I'll be out in a minute, man. Hey, hey, hey. Officer, I was, I wasn't doing nothing. Come here, come here. Panthers turned into some real shit heels, ain't they? Yeah, yes, sir. They're getting all high and mighty. This is my neighborhood. I'd stand up for myself. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. I saw the pigs rousing you, man. You okay? Yeah, man. Uh, I was, uh, it was just harassment. My driver's license expired. Yeah, right. All right, y'all, look around. We got new members joining every day. I like the newly appointed members from our new work chapter visiting us from the east to stand. All right. All right. All right. I'd like to introduce another new member to you. He's the author of Soul on Ice and a respected journalist, brothers and sisters. I'm proud to introduce our new Minister of Information, Eldridge Cleaver. You're all well aware of the change that we as a people bear change of slavery, of second-class citizenship, 
But there are other more invisible chains. The chains of not speaking your mind. Chains of all the words left unsaid out of fear of reprisal by the man. The silencing of our black voice. I'm here to tell you we have a voice, dig it? Yes. And I'd like to prove it to you. Everybody repeat after me. Fuck Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I'm serious. Fuck Ronald Reagan. 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 Don't yeah. See, it's amazing how speaking your mind can free your soul. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Eldridge, Minister of Information. Hey, sister. Hey, hey. Is you paying attention? Aw, oh, man, the pigs must have planted this so they have an excuse to bust us, man. Damn. I'll handle this. Come on, sister, let's go. And report to your cadre leader. Come hey, on. Hey, by the way, don't forget we got our red book here on sale. Each one teach one. Hey, we got to reach out to our brothers on the street. That's what the Kid Boy program is all about here. Each one teach one. Now listen. Brother Huey, can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sir. Alone. Not right now, brother. I'm talking some business with the Minister of Information tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, so I don't know if it's a, a, a exactly the right. Okay, bro. All right. Good to see you, my brother. Can't you see you jeopardizing the movement? Don't you realize the pigs are looking for any excuse to come down on us? I don't want my baby to grow up to be no junkie. I want my baby to be free. But that's what we all want. Look, you ain't gonna hurt me, is you? You hurting yourself. And that baby, too. Sister, you gotta stop killing us. You gotta stop killing that child. Judge, your information is vital to us, man. How vital could it be, man? We got chapters all over now. Well, this is Panther International Headquarters, Dig, and the police gonna start running their games here first. Huey, tell me something. Who's gonna straighten out the other brothers when they get on my ass? Like the manual says, information is disseminated, disseminated on a need to no know basis. basis. All right, look, here's another donation from the pigs. Oh, okay. If the pigs knew they were subsidizing the Panthers. Hey, they want a lot for their money, man. <laughs> they want a felony, preferably with violent intent. Now, if I don't give it to them, they're gonna kill me. And if I do give it to them, the Panthers are gonna kill me. Shit. Man, I hear that. But I would rather die on my feet and live on my knees. Come here. Come here. Nigga signed up about a month ago. Says his name's Maddie. I call him Spot. Oh! You motherfucker no. gave the pigs the license no. the number of every panther no. club. No! Shut up, pig! No, I just want some justice, Tyrone. Pig? Is this the thing you ratted on us to the pigs with? Come with some slime. You don't like to see a traitor get hurt? I wonder why that is. I know, you got something to say, you say it, man. I got plenty to say, man. Anything happens to you, we don't... Brother Judge, it's Sai, man. He's been shot. Who did this to you, Sai? Who did it to you, Sai? Tell me. Who? Who, bro? Who talk to me? Talk. No, 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 no. Fight now, fight. Now fight, fight, bro. I'm with you, I'm right here. I'm, I'm here. Who did it to you? Who did it to you, Sai? Who? Who, baby? Yo, I'm going to get an ambulance. Who? Yeah. Tell me, Sai. Just tell me who. Just tell me. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, Sai, no. I'm sorry. Victor Bremer. Yeah, it's me. Judge, hold on. 
phone? Is your phone safe? Who fucking cares, man? You cops kill Sai. And before you bastards kill anybody else, I'll give you your fucking setup. All right? That make you happy? Judge. Judge nothing. You shut up and you listen. I'm gonna work with you now. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Well, you got me now. All right. You got me now. Listen up. It's going down right on time. What's up with you, man? Nothing, man. I asked you a question. Is something on your mind, brother? My best friend is stone dead, brother. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Shit, I gotta take a leak. Bobby, pull over at this uh, gas station here. Yes, my nephew will be back in about 10 minutes, as usual. Where's your bathroom? Oh, it's out back. Come on. Open the register and give me the money. Oh, don't hurt me. I'm not fucking around, man. Move. I don't want to hurt you. What the fuck? Hey, man. What the fuck? What's the You stuck up this filling station, we got a witness. What kind of bullshit is that? The other right, you cuff him, I'll get him. Judge! 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 Judge, it's me, Ripper. Get out of here. Black Panthers for what they truly are. You see this common criminal. Yes, we have a group of the so-called revolutionaries in custody, caught red-handed robbing a local business. Sir, how many no. of our witness gives us a positive identification? We'll be filing charges of armed robbery with intent to kill. Sir, was anyone hurt? I have no further comments. Sir, excuse me, one more Seven. question. Just some shines, huh? Now they got their own newspaper. The Panther. Hey, Mother of God. When they start this? That comes out next week. A year ago, they didn't exist. Now they got chapters sprouting up all over the country. Now this. You know, who was looking into reactivating the internment camps? He's not going to sit around with this peace movement and this black power thing. Get out of... Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. What? Right. It's his nephew's gas station. You kidding me? No, he only stands in for the same 15 minutes every morning. One, take your hat off, please. Should you right? Hey, is he serious? <clears throat> Boss. Turn to your right. Uh, man's blind. He can't see anything. Rimmer, what are you telling me? Blind as bat, sir. Couldn't ID his own mother. Apparently, he just stands in for his nephew every day during break period. Retire. All right, boys, turn to your left. Move on out. Back to the holding tank. Governor Reagan added that such acts of lawlessness will not be tolerated. I just want to applaud the efforts of the local police. Some 
Suppress the violent activities of the Whoa, 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 soldier boy. Whoa. Hold on now. Name of peace. Look at them. Beating the shit out of their own young folk. You need some of this. You need to calm down or something. No, I'm alright. What's wrong? Several members of the notorious Black Panther Party. Hey. Panthers done got out. Those are your people, right? Just took the heat off you, any man? I'm not sure, but I'll find out. I gotta go. Catch you. Hey, Judge, 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 Judge. Man, I should have told you this before, man, but. You know, fuck it. What? Man, it was. Was Sabu killed Side? Man, hey, you'll be right there. I swear, you gotta be a card-carrying member of the stupid revolution. Man, you just better stay the fuck away from me, man. I told you. Is. Where is he? I don't know, man. From what I hear, folk tell me, you know, he done packed up his bags and went out of town. He gone. Why didn't you tell me, Rose? Man, I didn't want nobody to think I was no snitch or nothing like that. How would that look on me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I know. Stay good, man. Right, you be good too, baby. Where the hell is Judge? I think Brother Judge needs our support right now, not our suspicion. Oh, this is beautiful. Folks, ain't never seen no truth like this before. Right on. Huey, check this out. And what's with all the uh, shit, Aldrin? See, we can no longer let the white media control our image. We got to let the brothers know what we're all about ourselves. Get your ass up. Yeah, well, that's what our newspaper would do. Oh, no. So, see, a lot of brothers don't read, dude. So we got to give them a stronger <laughs> image. Oh, man. Yeah, well, then shouldn't this be everybody? Hey, Tyrone, get your ass in here. Trust me, man. This picture oh, be worth a thousand words. Oh, yeah, Have you given any thought to that Peace and Freedom Party thing? They really want to hook up with us. Yeah. We've been invited to their rally, and they could broaden our base of visibility. What's Brother Jamal saying? I think the poor black folks are fighting for their humanity, and the poor white folks are fighting for more money. I mean, the white boys can get a haircut and join the establishment. But us, we're black forever. Sister Emma, you care to share your thoughts with us? Well, the FBI is leaning on our printer looking for an excuse to cancel the contract. And the deadline for the next issue of the paper is tomorrow. Circulation is up, 125,000 and rising. Mm. We're seizing the time. The time, my friends, is what Sartre called the moment the match is put to the fuse. Now the question is, is the hand holding the match black or white? All right, no full-fledged alliance. Brother Bobby Seale's got three more months to do, but we will accept the rally invitation. I know. All right, Brother Eldridge, set it up. Look like a warrior. We were 4,000 then, and the cop beat us down. Today, we are 10,000. <laughs> 10,000 different voices in unison saying one thing, that you cannot have an imperialistic war abroad and social peace at home. Suspect of the backyard fence heading east from Market Street in pursuit. Who is with this unity, this purpose in mind? Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you through to the Defense Park. Minister of the Black Panther Party, Dewey Newton. That blind man thing was real cute. The only question you can ask is... All right, I got him. Thank you, guys, sir. Why should the black man go fight the yellow man for the white man? It's that simple. The Black Panther Party is opposed to the war in Vietnam. We know our war is here at home against hard drugs and the community. 
community, against unemployment. That brothers and sisters is our war. Power to the people. This. Inspector Brimmer, could you come in here a minute? What's going on, Charlie? The feds. They're moving in. Oh, Lord. Have a seat, Inspector. Yeah, Gentlemen, this is Pruitt. He'll be working with us from here on in. But, but isn't he special people for special problems? Sorry, I didn't know the FBI had. Obviously, there are many things that you don't know. Should we just get to the point? The Black Panthers have united with other organizations sponsored by the communists to undermine our efforts in Vietnam. In the opinion of Mr. Hoover, the Black Panther Party is public enemy number one. They have quite simply guaranteed their own extinction. Jesus. You know, I really don't even need to say that your department's handling of the Black Panthers, in particular Inspector Brimmer's so-called undercover operation, has been a complete travesty. Memo from the commissioner, etc. Backing Mr. Hoover's decision to place the Black Panther Party and their subversive activities under the full jurisdiction of the Bureau. This pattern of harassment is going on against the Black Panther Party across the country. On Friday, the Watts office of the Black Panther Party was bombed and demolished. Last week, the Des Moines office was bombed. Uh, this week, they raided the San Francisco office. So they come in and shoot us and shoot tear gas in our office and drag people off to jail like they've lost their minds. is gone, there'll never be another black messiah unless we create him. What's your name, boy? Five. What's your name? I said five. I said, what's your name, bro? Huh? I said five. What's your name? And I keep saying five like the Fifth Amendment. And this cop is getting pissed. And there ain't much he can do to me. So dig this, he give me a ticket for littering on account of the paper that he ripped up out of my hand. They can't do too much with that many eyes on them, man. They ain't nothing but racist cops. That's true. Shit. Well, well, well. If it isn't the great Huey P. Newton. License and registration.
Get out of the car. California law does not require a driver to leave a vehicle unless he's being placed under Get arrest. Get out of the fucking car! You got a problem with English, boy? You two, come on. What's the problem, officer? Well, resisting arrest? No, yeah, my arms. And use the force on your part is illegal. Go. Yeah. Right Let's go for a walk. I said spread up. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Move it. Am I under arrest? Okay, what do we got here? Gunshots, multiple. Get out of the way. What are you doing? Back off. God damn it. What's going on? That's the cop killer. You don't kill. You don't kill. Fuck it, boy. Anybody can, he's the man. Well, then, he's our man. We're here. Yeah. It's gonna work. Just make sure the focus stays on freeing Huey. Man, we can't make enough of these things. We got movie stars calling up, asking how they can help. Tell you, brothers and sisters, it's nation time. Mm, I wish we didn't need these buttons. I wish Huey was here. Me too. Yeah, you sure about that, my brother? Brothers and sisters, look at this. Come on. You could jail a revolutionary, but you couldn't jail a revolution. Despite the pigs in the FBI, our power base in the black community continued to grow. Even my mom's was coming around. Well, serious. I come out of that wig. <laughs> oh, Elvis, come on over here, man. Come meet my mother. My name is Erwin Cleaver, I'm Minister of Information. Erwin Cleaver, this is my mother. Pleasure to meet you. This guy I was telling you about. You should be proud of your son. Be proud of me, Mom. See you lot. I'm black and I'm proud. Here's why. We need everything we in here. We need some butter, some salt, some grease. You are the malnutrition. <laughs> That's what you are. No, I know y'all need to be eating more. Run around here like a bunch of scarecrows. You don't eat, you don't sleep. Or take York. this head off of the table. <laughs> there ain't no way to live. Oh, Miss Griffin, she looks good to be skinny. Easy to roughen the fat pigs, I'd say you that. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed tonight in Memphis, Tennessee. Shot in the face as he stood alone on the balcony of his hotel room. He died in a hospital an hour later. Last night, he said this. I just want to do God's will. He never hurt nobody. And he's Kill allowed him. me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory. When 
King's message of non-violence ended in his violent death, folks finally realized that they couldn't pray their way to freedom. Just what the Panthers had been saying all along. America was burning. Nationwide, our enrollment doubled in two weeks. No, 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 no more words! No more words, no more sitting, no more praying, waiting for the pigs to kill us. Later for lying down, later for waiting to get shot like dogs. Right on, brother, right on. Nonviolence has died in Memphis, died with Dr. King. Now we must retaliate. We got the fucking guns. It's time to use them. Off brother, those pigs. Hold on, motherfucker! Brother El I hate you. <laughs> but I disagree, and we both know that Huey disagrees too. Yeah, we got guns. But the pig has got more guns. The pig has got the National Guard. Now, I ain't afraid to fight. But we ain't stupid either. This here is a time to be smart, Brother Eldridge. No, Not no, no, later for that, No, man. later for you. Now, listen up, man. What? We gonna forget about Huey and his trial? Start killing pigs? Start the revolution now? With one of our leaders in jail? Yeah. And if we do that, Huey is a dead man. We're all dead. No, no, we stay cool. Or what? You giving me orders now? Man, I'm just telling you what it is. Later for that, it is time to intensify the struggle. That's what it is. His role, he got to recognize you were party leader. Well, it ain't easy running around this country lecturing, trying to raise bread to defend your ass, boy. You always could talk your butt off. Hey, don't worry about me. Don't worry about you. It ain't the same without you, you ain't. All power to the people. All power to the people. You still got to sit on Elridge. Pigs be here any minute, man. All right, we're ready. We're ready for them. Ready. This is for Brother Malcolm, Brother Martin, and being a motherfucking pig.
Stay down. Now, come down. Go. Go. Come up with your hands. friends that I stand here with this strange feeling of joy and thanksgiving knowing that our young brother did not die in vain he died for the people and out of his death we must go back to our community with this new sense of life force for liberation he said it well power to the people round power round people they hurt us, baby. Huey just locked up. Jim and Bobby having to run all over the country trying to hold things together. Sai is dead. Bobby. I don't even recognize him at the faces at the meetings. Except his. Now look. I gotta go get on a plane. I gotta go raise money for Huey's trial. I want y'all to make sure there's a strong Panther present there. Hear me? Yes, sir. All right. What about Eldridge? Did uh, get him out on bail, didn't you? Yeah. But things get too hot. Eldridge is, is gonna disappear. Granted, so the free Huey thing has become a bit of a rallying cry for the left. Especially with Bobby Seale running around the country fanning the flames. Rallying cry. That's insurrection! Sir, the Panthers have become very resourceful. I'm afraid you underestimated the support in the black community. I mean, that's their power base. They say a black panther is born every minute in the ghetto. Tell him I said I want that power base neutralized. Mr. Hoover wishes the ultimate contingency implemented. You mean? That's exactly what I mean! And Agent Rogers, this conversation never occurred. Rogers, this is no good. Captain Connor, you've been taking money for the mob for years. Gentlemen, forgive me for caping you. Ah, Dorset. No matter how we try to deny it, we always end up on the same side of the coin. It's almost funny. To be quite honest, it turns my stomach. Neither your stomach nor your opinion matters here, Dorset. What matters is that Mr. Tynan's clients and the Bureau have come up with a solution to our Panther problem. A final solution, you might say. Our clients, of course, are very pleased that Mr. Hoover decided to take our little suggestion to heart. By the way, why did he change his mind? Woman's intuition. Are you sure that you can control the product? Can you assure us that this will not get out of hand? Of course. Our clients have vast experience in these communities. It's just a matter of degrees. You give us free reign of the ghetto, we solve your problem. I'll assure you one thing. The pacifying qualities of heroin are quite formidable. Junkies' politics are not like yours and mine. I'll even read the future for you. Very soon, the Jigaboos, no offense, the Jigaboos will be wanting this stuff so bad they'll be running around trying to get, trying to sell, they'll be blowing each other's brains out. It's not a racial issue, it's a matter of law and order. Of course, at any rate, we just set them up and we step back. 
When can you get it out in the streets? As quick as possible. We'll manufacture and distribute from a warehouse. Of course, it knows the locale. I reiterate, we need assurances on containment, that it stays strictly within the problem area. I want you to put somebody on this. Keep tabs on the new operation. No offense. You talked as if this thing's been decided. It has been. They signed him yet? No. They haven't. They don't even know who's in the car with you. Good luck, Huey. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? All power to the people. You say that Huey P. Newton is a prisoner of war. Not many people say that that's not true or that the party is exaggerated. But I think it's clear. It's crystal clear the United States has declared war on black people. Now, she did that when she took the first black man from Africa. Oh, uh, she never came out and said the words, I declare war on black people. Oh, uh, she didn't do that. But now, let us study our history. To this day, the United States has not declared war on Vietnam. But there is Vietnam. And they did not declare war in North Korea. But they sure fought in North Korea. And they did not declare war on the Indians. They just wiped them out. They wipe them out. So, we must define our position. We are at war. Huey P. Newton, Minister of Defense, is a prisoner of war. We must get him out. By any means necessary. By any means necessary. We know for sure there was a passenger. We just don't know who. You know, you can't help but admire those young brothers. They do a lot of good in their communities. You ever heard about the common good? The United States of America is more than a simple collection of ghettos. This country was built on capitalism and democracy. And in a democracy, the majority rules. We are a minority, unless we integrate fully. Whose side are you on, brother? No, whose side are you on? Officer. Now you say that Huey Newton opened fire that night without any provocation. What makes you so sure? It was a dark night. There was lots of confusion. Well, sir, I was there. That's right, you were. He was there. He saw everything. And he is not on trial. He does not need to lie to save his own life. Your witness. Thank you. No questions, Your Honor. Well, you may step down. But if it please the court, I would like to introduce testimony at this time from a new witness, one who uh, is not on trial for his life, but one who was also there. I call Gene McKinney to the stand. I object, Your Honor. Who is this man? This is an eyewitness, Your Honor. The passenger in Huey Newton's car. Oh. Overrule. Mr. Gary, you may examine your witness. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Mr. McKinney, were you a passenger in the car that night, October 28, 1967? And I keep saying bye, like the Fifth Amendment, you know? Yes, yes, sir, I was. And did you witness the shootout? Yes, sir, I did. From what you saw, did Huey Newton start the shooting? The commander 
risk is according to California. Take that mob and shut it up your ass, nigger! No, sir, he did not. Order. 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 Well, then, did someone else start the shooting? I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that it might incriminate me. Order. Order. Did you shoot the officers in question? Again, I will take the Fifth Amendment on that question on the grounds that it might incriminate me. Order! Order! This just in. Gene McKinney pleaded the Fifth Amendment and in doing so drew suspicion from Huey P. Newton to himself. If Newton did not initiate the shooting, charges against him could be greatly reduced. However, having been granted immunity in exchange for testifying, McKinney himself cannot be prosecuted. You fit the profile, brother. You're exactly the type of nigga they think they can trust. Move! Wait a minute! Now we must tell you, we got the fucking guns and it's time to you. You don't like to see a traitor get hurt? You got something to say, you say it, man. Anything happened to you, I'm gonna fuck you up. Panthers are gonna lose. The only question is, are you gonna lose along with them? Lose your future, your mother, you're gonna lose your life. Yeah. Open it up. It's me, Brimmer. Come on, open the door. Oh! Hey. Judge, right here. What? Oh, we gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Come on, shut the move. Come on, Judge. I've done some fucked up things on the force, but nothing like this. Star said order me to babysit some dope dealers. All right, kids, come on, get out. Let's go. All right, go on, run. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, run. What, so you can shoot me in the back, call the resistant arrest? Oh, I ain't gonna shoot you. Just get out of here, kid. It's over. Go on, get out. What are you talking about? You fucked up, man. This whole fucking country's fucked up. They're gonna flood the ghetto with cheap dope. We're gonna start in there warehouse where I took you that time, but uh, you just don't know what's going on. This thing is well, it's bigger than you and me. The Panthers are dead. They killed you. You just don't know it. It's over. Fuck that. Ain't nothing over. Take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Okay. All right. The pigs are gonna let the mob flood the community with dope. We've always had drugs in the black community. No, not like that. On a whole nother level. Huey, they're out to neutralize us. We gotta stop this now. I'm on it. Power to the people. Power to the people, brother. Yeah, oh, Black Panther Party for self-defense. Congratulations, asshole. You, he got off. But we got your boy, Bobby Seal. What the hell are you talking about? Bobby's at a wedding. Not anymore, he's not. We picked him up and we're taking him to Chicago on conspiracy. Conspiracy? Who the fuck is this? It's the Tooth Fairy. Oh, by the way, I thought you might like to know who gave us Bobby. His name is Judge.
What's up, Rose? How you doing? It's good to see you. Seen you stay, man? Stay who? Oh, stay the fuck out of my business. Is Chairman Bobby back from the wedding? I need to speak with him. What the fuck is there to talk about, pig? Tyrone, now ain't the time for that shit, man. If you want it, pick it up. I can't believe that rat bastard isn't getting the chair. That Newton turd ought to be taken out and shot. How about a little target practice? Huh? Yeah. and check it out. This motherfucker is just lying again. I'm telling you, we gotta take this warehouse down. All right, we'll go check it out. No fucking around. Them show ain't no pigs, Ty. Wait, that's Shorty. And that big fool used to run with Sabu back in the train. Sabu is in there with the dope, man. You believe me now? Hey. Man, you meant my name for you to get this out of here because the next two weeks I got a big sale coming. It's on the 5th and the 7th, okay? I need for you to get this, these two boxes, and the ones over there. I need for you to get them out of here. If you just call me, I'll bring some money at 12 there, okay? You gotta be down there with some shit. But you know what? You let your people know that I'm the man. They want to get rid of their stuff. I'm the one to get rid of their shit. Because I'm gonna have all these customers. We, we doing it in. Look at this, man. Like we doing This is my spot. Shorty, move them boxes on the other side. Look at that. It's all on work in here, baby. Everybody working. All you gotta do is bring your stuff to me, and I get rid of it. Oh! Shit! Drop it. I'm gonna let it go. Look, I ain't got nothing, baby. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got no gun, no ear, no nothing, baby. I'm through with it. Talk to me. I know who you are, man. I know you like the pigs money much as I do. We can both get paid now, baby. You know what I'm saying? Both of us. Look, I got everything, man. Look at this. I got everything. I got the cocaine, got the hair round. Whatever you need. It's me and you. We don't need to kill each other, black man. 
The Black Panthers is over, baby. It's over. Today is a new day. Oh, oh. Judge, help! It's alright. It's alright. It's gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. We gotta get him up. We gotta get him up. We gotta get him out of here. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on. We gotta get you out of here right now. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I ain't gonna make it. Yes, you are. I got you. You're gonna make it. I'll distract the pigs. Give me the lighter. I love y'all. Now get the hell out of here. Come on, sister. We gotta go. Come on, sister. We gotta, we gotta move. Come on. Let's go. got that stoplight. They pumped in the dope to neutralize the black community and destroy the Panther power base. But drugs overflowed the borders of the ghetto and ended up on all America's doorstep. Despite ongoing persecution by the authorities, the Panthers continued to provide breakfast programs, sickle cell anemia testing, and even schools for the community. Before they were eventually crushed, the Panthers had chapters in almost every state of the Union and several foreign countries. It came out later that Hoover and the FBI used illegal tactics to destroy the Panthers. Several Panthers are still being held in prison on trumped-up charges. Huey was killed in 1989 in a drug deal. Bobby lives in Pennsylvania. He teaches and lectures. In 1970, with 300,000 addicts in the United States. Yesterday, there were three million. The way I see it, the struggle continues.
I remember hearing someone say that love's in need of love today.